So the work on the space station, we're up here to explore and to research. And so we do lots of science experiments to try to understand more about the human body and our environment around us. And we are pushing further into space and trying to understand the technologies that we need to be able to support living in space for a long period of time. That's, that's why we're up here. That's our main reason. Of course, we need to do a lot of maintenance in order to make sure the space station stays in shape. Over. April, I love the question. Eating is a lot of fun. All the food floats, so I try to eat dinner with no hands, if you can believe it. Uh, but in terms of swallowing and trying to chew your food, it feels just like on the ground. As for walking, I haven't walked for, oh, I'd say about 200 days now. I've been flying around the space station, so in a, in a couple weeks I'm going to land and, and be able to walk for the first time. Over. That is a great question. So on October 3rd, I'm actually going to return to Earth. It's the end of my mission. So we're going to get in our Soyuz vehicle, and it has a capsule that's very similar to, uh, say, the capsules that took uh, men to the moon, the Apollo capsule. So it's going to come back in, re-enter the Earth's atmosphere, and use drag to, to heat. It'll heat up and, and lose all of our energy through heat and slow us down. And then we have a big parachute that brings us softly down to the ground. Over. amazing feeling. You know, I think the best the best way you could try to simulate it is if you were in a pool and you were underwater holding your breath and you just floated there. I've felt like that for the last seven months. I get to somersault and do tricks and, and you know, fly around corners. It's just amazing. Over. Actually, well, you know, it's really hard because not only do I float, but water floats too. So it's not like I can have a shower rain down on me to, to clean off. So we basically just wet a towel uh, that has some soap in it, and then we rub our, rub our skin to get clean and then dry off. Over. not as easy on the ground because gravity doesn't help take everything down. So we have to find another force to be able to help us out. So we use basically a toilet that has a vacuum cleaner attached to it so that it sucks everything in. Over. Similar, the, 
to compare to what you could see on the ground. The moon is about the same size. We're only 250 miles up, and the moon is 250,000 miles away from the Earth. So we're, we're not much closer. So the moon looks about the same, and the stars in the Milky Way look about the same. I think I can see more stars, and I see more of the Milky Way because I don't have to look through the atmosphere. The biggest difference is I can also see the Earth at the same time. And so I can fly over the United States, and I can see almost from the Canadian border down to the Mexican border, all in one view from left to right as we fly over and take in the entire United States. It's amazing. Over. You know, we're only 250 miles away from the surface of the Earth, so we get as close to the sun as you do. Over. Well, part of our training is to uh, is for everybody to have some level of medical training so that we can help each other if we get hurt. Now, I'm also fortunate because one of the astronauts up here is also a doctor, so he can help me out. But, you know, if we are not anywhere near a hospital, so if things are bad enough, we would get in our Soyuz and land early. Over. Uh, I've got a crewmate, Drew Morgan, is going to be up here nine months, and another crewmate, Christina Cook, who's going to be up here 11 months. And so we're doing research to see how the human body adapts to space. Because if we're going to go to the moon, it's going to, we're going to have to spend extended time in space. And when we go to Mars, we're going to have to spend even more time in space. And so we need to figure out how we can survive. Over.